This video is about CA Inter Audit and Ethics for the upcoming May 24 preparation strategy. Like very simple, in this I am going to talk about three fourth preparation strategy. I am going to talk about simply three fourth preparation. Once upon a time I used to uh, recommend students to at least to study two third of the syllabus, which is roughly 66 percent, 67, 60 to 70. Now I am saying 75 percent, which is more accurate. Look, okay. So three fourth preparation strategy. What is this three fourth preparation strategy is all about? Remember, this is not ABC analysis. I am not doing any past examination trend analysis. Nothing. A solid three fourth preparation strategy where if a student covers three fourth of the chapters as a whole, can damn sure secure getting it sixty plus with with lots of ease. 60 plus getting exemption is quite easy in this 3 fourth preparation strategy. So now not only for audit from our institute each and every faculty is going to give videos for accounting, taxation, even for financial management, costing, law for everything we will give you 3 fourth strategy videos. The first one which I am uploading is with audit. So you will understand what exactly the logic behind correctly. So just wait every day we will be uploading one one subject. So now let's focus on the audit. You know, we divide this auditing and ethics entire syllabus into two categories. First priority chapters, second priority chapters or you can also call it as last priority chapters. So if you observe institute index also, CA inter audit, we have totally 11 chapters. Out of that, three chapters we kept under last priority. Remaining eight chapters we kept under first priority. By the way, here, the chapter numbers, everything were given as per our Sresta material. Getting it? In our Sresta material, the order of chapters were little different from the ICA Institute material. In ICA, you have two modules for audit. We also have two modules. But the order of discussion of lectures in our institute is completely different from the ICA book. Getting it? But the content within the chapter is mostly same. Okay, fine. So before I talk about this first priority, second priority, what is this three fourth preparation strategy? What is this exactly the strategy? Let me talk about that. We all know what is a paper pattern. Paper will be for 120 marks. We all know that paper will be for 120 marks. Even in the old scheme, earlier scheme also up to November 23 exams also it is for 120. Even for May 24 also it is 120. By the way, there is no negative marking still. The ICA has not given any clarification on that. For May 24 exams, for sure, there is no negative marking. Don't ask me for November. We don't know. How things are going to change, we don't know. As of now, if you ask me based on today's scenario, there is no negative marking at all for MCQs. Next. So, paper will be for 30 marks. 30 marks of the paper will be for MCQs. Total paper will be 120. You will be having 20 marks choice. The choice is given in descriptive here. The choice is given in descriptive question. Descriptive paper, the choice will be given. So 30 marks will be MCQs, no choice at all. 90 marks of the paper will be descriptive. Out of it, 14 marks in the old scheme up to November 2023 also for 14 marks, true or false, nothing but correct or incorrect questions or what they are asking. Within this, some 2 marks choice means they will give you 16 marks questions. You have to write 14 marks. So 2 marks choice will be there within this. In MCQ, no choice at all. Here, I hope with respect to audit, this correct or incorrect questions culture, whatever is there up to November 23 will be continued for May 24 also. I hope it will be continued because in each and every chapter in the CA inter audit, they have given correct or incorrect questions separately from MCQs. Getting the point. For remaining subjects, there are no such correct or incorrect questions if you observe. Therefore, for audit, Correct or incorrect questions of 14 marks approximate weightage will continue still in the descriptive paper. Remember, correct or incorrect is not an objective paper, it's a descriptive paper because they are testing you your comprehensive skills, like how far you are able to comprehend, you know, a given statement. So, whether you write supporting it or rejecting it, correct or incorrect statement, how are you able to comprehend it? So, that's what they test. Getting it? 76 marks is pure descriptive theory questions they'll ask. By the way, how these descriptive questions will be asked? I can say 50% will be, they will give you a, some story and they will ask you one concept based on that story. Some concept related question they will be asking. Getting it? And another 
out of 70 5 76 marks 50 percent will be uh, you just have to it's like a theory question though it looks like practical but it's a theory question another 50 percent will be completely practical application so they'll give you a situation so you have to apply a so and so relevant auditing standard in that situation talk about the provision give your analysis and conclusion in that way don't worry all this will be all these things were given in the ICO material also the questions how they will be getting it all were given illustrations test your knowledge questions were given in ICI right they are similar to all this so 76 marks descriptive out of that 18 marks will be choice 18 marks getting it here 2 marks choice here 18 marks totally 20 marks choice which means you just have to write 48 marks uh, sorry yeah correct uh, just a minute yeah 58 marks I'm sorry 58 marks approximately you have to write uh, descriptive 58 marks approximately so which means the descriptive paper pure descriptive kind of questions you need to answer is only for 58 to 60 marks getting it whereas uh, objective paper 40 uh, true or false statements 14 and 30 marks mcqs where there is no choice so typically speaking the entire paper is for 120 what i personally believe is if a student is writing 80 to 85 marks perfectly in the entire paper in the entire paper 80 to 85 marks perfectly he can secure 65 to 70 marks easily i'm talking about those who can write perfect answers i'm not talking about those who simply write with their own language where it does not even match 15 to 20 percent of ICA standard getting the point uh, I know some of you might be asking, sir, how to remember this audit subject, how to recollect this terminology. I will be doing series of videos slowly. Okay, regularly I will be doing. By the way, I am doing this video on 15th February 2024. Fine. So 65 to 70 marks you can easily secure if you write 80 to 85 marks of the paper. Suppose if a student is writing only 75 marks to 80 marks only, for example, he can easily secure 55 to 60 for sure. For sure, you, you can secure 55 to 60 just by attempting 75 to 80 marks. Now, see, if you are attempting 75 to 80, approximately 40 marks portion, you can take choice. You can take chance. Yes or no? Indirectly, approximately, you know, these chapters which occupy 30 to 35 marks, these topics, these two standards and these three chapters, which occupy 30 to 35 marks weightage, maximum weightage is 35. You can ignore, completely you can ignore, you can ignore them. What are they? There is a standard called 450. In CA Inter Audit Material, there is a chapter called Completion and Review. Inside that, this 450 standard is dealt. And there is a standard called 520. In CA Inter Audit, there is a chapter called Audit Evidence. Inside that, this 520 is there, Analytical Procedure. So, from this, 5 marks is possible. From this, worst case 4, otherwise 0. Okay, from this 5 to 8 marks, it may, may be some MCQ might also be tested. Different types of entities, 5 to 10. Audit strategy, 5. Risk assessment, internal control, 5 to 10. So that's why I gave lower limit of 30, upper limit of 35. This is a minimum mark and maximum mark is 35. Minimum can be sometimes 25 itself. From these topics, the maximum weightage is 30 to 35. Now, what is these topics? Like what we should do? See, what I believe is, rather than preparing each and every chapter moderately, select the 8 chapters out of 11. Prepare these 8 chapters the perfect, the best. Nook and corner, in depth. In depth, with the conceptual understanding, understanding its implication, understanding its role in the total subject, understanding its impact on the entire audit, you know, subject. So, in that way, realistically, practically, you need to understand this entire eight chapters. Actually, in our book, you will find one more chapter called Fundamentals. That's a zero chapter in our book. So, I will show you our book index also. This is our audit book index. So, zero fundamentals. So, we don't directly enter into the actual chapter. First, we will be discussing certain important terms. What do you mean by applicable financial reporting framework? What is fair presentation framework? What is compliance framework? What is general purpose framework? What is special purpose framework? What do you mean by audit? What do you mean by objective of auditor? What do you mean by misstatement? What do you mean by fraud, error? We discuss certain basic terminology before we actually start the subject. So that chapter is called as fundamentals. So I am doing this preparation strategy video primarily for our Sreshta students point of view, whoever have enrolled with our the audit classes or whoever is following our marathon or revision classes, which I am going to upload on the YouTube in the month of March. 
getting it so fundamentals nature objective and scope of audit 100% content terms of engagement and ethics terms of engagement and ethics you can see here so zero so what are the chapters that you must read fundamentals nature objective and scope ethics and terms of engagement audit report after audit report if you see here there is a topic called three a society's audit society's audit is actually taken from the seventh chapter in our book in our book there is a seventh chapter called different types of entities in that one topic is society's audit i'll show you so there is a seventh chapter here right there are so many audits in that one topic is society audit so this is something which we discuss in our class immediately after audit report because the content given in society's audit is mostly similar to audit report topic it is mostly similar to audit report topic so immediately after that society's audit then the next chapter that we need to discuss is documentation that is our chapter 5 in our book but this is the fourth order of discussion after that fifth fifth chapter that we discuss is chapter number 6 evidence then sixth topic that we discuss is chapter number 4 then seventh topic is bank audit finally items of financial statements items of financials if a student perfectly study these chapters perfectly study he can attempt minimum 85 to 90 or sometimes maybe 100 also sometimes institute from these chapters they may test only 20 marks maximum not more than that sometimes because because these topics are very very important in reality also of course risk assessment strategy these are also important in reality from the second priority also no doubt questions will come but it is it is not possible for many students to cover 100 percent syllabus keeping in mind those students at least if you prepare these eight chapters perfectly 100 percent you should not skip one point also okay except 450 520 actually 520 is covered in evidence chapter 450 is covered in completion and review chapter except these two standards rest entire these chapters if you prepare 100 percent believe me you can successfully write for 80 to 90 marks perfectly if at all you have prepared them perfectly ignore these chapters it's, it's okay nothing gonna happen getting it there the most of the all india first rank second rank third rank students if you watch their interviews they attempted for 80 to 90 marks on an average in each paper each paper average some papers they wrote for 100 they got 95 99 for some papers they wrote 85 they got 75 to 80 and our normal student most intelligent students they write 100 marks they get 20 marks in audit all india first ranker is attempting for 90 marks in audit and he is getting 75 70 plus a normal student no he will attempt 100 marks and get 20 23 so the problem is not about attempting all the questions it's not about that remember today the valuation is digital based getting it digital based means nothing of course just a mode of valuation is different but the valuation is very strict unless your answer matches with the suggested answer given no marks will be given to you if suggested answer contain five points if your answer also contains same five points not even different points same five maybe your wordings might be slightly different that's okay but whatever these five points together convey your answer also should convey the same then only you will get full marks otherwise you will not get sir let me attempt something they will put at least half mark no no they will not if you write something you get nothing you have to write relevant accurate complete correct answers which is as per the ICA book whatever in the study material they gave answers same answers institute is expecting from you look at the recent evaluation papers which are being which are being circulated on many telegram groups student is writing a similar answer but not matching with the actual concept of course his way of expression is also correct but there is no over matching with suggested answer they are not getting marks and i agree in valuation there are some loopholes i agree but if you want to overcome that please write same answer given in the institute book same answer means not ditto copy paste exactly similarly at least 90 percent it should match your answer should match 90 percent to the ic adjusted answer then you will get full out of full marks for that question four marks means four marks will be getting getting it anyhow on the presentation of audit paper i will do a separate video this is about preparation strategy so if at all you are preparing these eight chapters thoroughly perfectly believe me my dear student you will get 80 to 90 you will attempt 80 to 90 perfectly where you can easily secure 60 plus no doubt these chapters you can ignore if at all you don't want to take chance wait 
first prepare in audit these eight chapters go fm and sm similarly you will find some 75% syllabus finish that perfectly go to the other subject in all other subjects of the group that you are attempting if at all you are both the groups then all the six subjects if you are single group then three subjects so in each and every subject like this you identify 75% syllabus 75% syllabus means in each chapter 75% no 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 see you know a b c category means what in nature object to what are a category b category c c c category students are ignoring this is absolutely wrong very dangerous approach don't follow that approach at all getting the point and order of watching also should be the same order of watching should also be the same so in each subject you finish 75 75% of the syllabus in each subject perfectly thoroughly whatever the big question can be asked in the institute you can answer for sure you can damn sure secure 60 plus in that subject every subject you can get exemption there is a saying it is rather than preparing 100% and securing 30 40 Prepare 70% and secure 50 to 60 marks easily. This is much more practical. I am telling you. Getting it? Believe me in this. You, have, you can observe various, your past seniors also who know me. So they have implemented this strategy and successfully done. Even you see, at the time of results, I post so many screenshots and all about the results which share, students share with me. Many of them have, you know, applauded this particular strategy. This is very safe strategy. Forget about trend analysis. Forget about how many marks asked for each chapter. Ignore all that. That and all useless. From every chapter you will get question man. Believe me, every chapter you will get question. From every all these 11 chapters I will show you May 24 paper. You will get a question. Either MCQ or descriptor, something you will be getting for sure. No chapter is less important than the other. But risk assessment. Suppose you see in audit. These three chapters are time consuming chapters, especially risk assessment and different types of entities, time consuming chapters, getting it. So these are time consuming, the weightage is very less. Whereas completion and review, you know, this, this chapter is having some five to seven standards, very easy, getting it. And damn sure from this chapter, 10 marks question will come. Bank audit 10 marks, items of financials 10 marks, evidence topic 15 to 20 marks, minimum weightage, I'm telling you, 20 marks is weightage. Documentation chapter 5 to 10 marks, society's audit 5 marks, audit report 20 marks, terms of audit engagement 5 marks, nature object to 5 marks. This is minimum, maximum can be sometimes extra top, extra marks might come. In that case, in these chapters it will be compensated. Able to understand. So follow these chapters thoroughly. Once you conclude, yes, I am master in these 8 chapters, then go to the remaining chapters. The two remaining chapters in what order you need to study? In the remaining pending chapters, first study different types, then strategy, then finally if you still have time, you are master in all other chapters, then come to this chapter. Just for the sake of reading, so that I can answer something, don't read. If you are selecting one chapter and reading, prepare the best, give your best, do the best. If you, if you're not, if, if you don't want to do like that, don't even touch that. Focus on these chapters only, revise, 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 multiple times. Again, how to do revive, how to do revision, effective revision. I will do a separate video. Getting it? I hope you got what I'm trying to convey. Even for other subjects, financial management, even in group one advanced accounting, taxation, law, for all CA inter subjects also, I'm going to give this video. Suppose if at all any of your CA final student or CA final audit, I'll give a separate video. Okay. Take care. All the very best. Have a nice day.